and uh, Ashish has a question. Let's hit the ground okay. running. So Ashish sure. has a question. So, He'll yeah, sorry. So, uh, but the yeah. question he asks is very important. How soon can I return to running after COVID? This is called hitting the ground. <laughs> true, true, true. Yes. So uh, this is Ashish, right? Who's asked this question? Yeah. So hi, Ashish. Uh, firstly, I'm glad that you feel fit enough to ask this question after COVID. So I'm glad that you have recovered well uh, after COVID. Uh, but post-COVID recovery is something which is uh, very, very important to understand, especially when you are trying to get back to your uh, regular fitness and routine activities. Uh, COVID affects different people differently. As we all know, there are some patients who takes relatively longer, uh, whereas there are some who, uh, who feel energetic enough to get started with your workouts and routines. Uh, what is important to understand is because COVID is hitting different people differently, uh, when we start exercising, we have to start slow. Uh, there is one uh, very easy method of understanding at what intensity should a person start their workouts. Uh, we call it technically as an RPE scale. Uh, R for rate, uh, of P for perceived and E for exertion. What is the scale? It is very simple to understand. Ashish, you just need to uh, rate your workouts initially on a scale of 0 to 10. When you are beginning, don't just directly focus on uh, running immediately. What is important is start doing regular brisk walks initially. Make sure that you are charting your uh, pre-workout uh, heart rate. You are charting out your pre-workout oxygen saturation. If all of that is fine and you are able to brisk walk for 20 to 30 minutes, slowly and gradually you can increase this intensity of brisk walk into two different change of intensities. Now, what does that mean? You can do probably a two or three minutes of a brisk walk followed by one minute of a normal paced walk. See how your body is responding to it. If you think that you are comfortable, there is no uncomfortable breathless setting in, your oxygen saturation is not dropping below 95, you're not feeling any undue fatigue, continue this activity for two weeks. After two weeks, you can probably start your jog walk and then in a span of another four weeks, I'm sure you will be up and running. 